Mike's pet peeve number 117, sugar addiction. What? First of all, if there was a sugar addiction, some, would there be like so much sugar here, like very, very cheap, legally available? Like, oh, we have cocaine over here and heroin and there's some sugar. Like dig in people, here's some needles. So that's kind of the first telltale sign. Also, hey, look, I'm not seeing any junkies like coming in here going nuts, like, oh, give me that sugar. Yeah. Also, what's interesting is like, so people say like, oh, sugar is addictive, but nobody ever said grapes are addictive or potatoes, because they're basically sugar, right? It's just a longer molecule. So where do you draw the line? Yes, you can like sugar and not having it makes you maybe grumpy for a couple of days or causes light headache. But you're not like gonna rob somebody or steal money to buy more sugar. It's also very cheap. So, repeat after me. There is no sugar addiction. Because if you take people that like sweets and you put them in a room, they're not gonna go nuts. Yeah, they're gonna be a bit like, yeah, I want my gummy bears back, but that's about it, okay? There's a big difference between liking a certain taste and being addicted to it, okay? So, no sugar addiction. Cereal. <laughs> I'm from Germany. I mean, we're not like a third world country. But when I came to America, I was like, what is all this? So, now let's say you want to find something healthy. Well, anything that carries actual candy in the name, Reese's Puff or marshmallows, is probably not the best of idea to consume unless you want to eat candy with your milk, right? But then there are some that really annoy me. So this, right? So it says 11 grams of protein, okay? First of all, they count the milk. Debatable advertising, to say the least. And then you look at it, and it's soy protein isolate, which, if you watch the protein bar video, is a very, very bad protein that actually can be toxic. So, if you want something, you know, you gotta go boring. Like, Cheerios are still king of the road. You know, add proper fruit to your liking, whatever have you, or sweetener, or, you can also go with these, like the old brand, because they're actually honest. So the four grams of protein, that is really plant protein, you know, from the oats, and then they add the milk, okay, that's fair. I mean, you eat all these with milk, so, but at least you're getting some of it. And uh, the rest is just, you know, candy in cool boxes. Mike out. I'm finding bullshit. This isn't kind at all. Check this out. So you buy oats, okay, well, whatever. Tapioca syrup, it's a cheap carb fine whatever cane sugar more sugar and then drum roll soy protein okay for your extra 10 grams of protein we talked about this in the protein bar video soy protein is being made by washing the soybeans in something that's a borderline explosive slash combustible and then you eat it and you pay outrageous amount of money like that stuff that just annoys the crap out of me okay so this is overpriced and it's not any better like i'm gonna say it again old-fashioned oats like down there you know or good old Cheerios and then add your own fruit or nuts or your protein powder in the milk whatever have you know but this stuff is just people are being ripped off man it's not right who my pet peeve the nutri grain bar <laughs> gives you energy gives you energy you know what that stands for has calories that's it okay so you're thinking like oh cool like I have like whole grains and raspberries and blueberries and you know a strawberry but then look at that look how many ingredients there are yep you're eating a chem lab i think in the very end there's some raspberry puree concentrate so there might be a little raspberry but you're not getting much out of it so just just don't stay away you know to stay healthy in a supermarket shop in a U. so you walk in you have like your veggies your fruit you know more produce and then here be some carbs you know potatoes all that sort of thing there's rice there's beer which some people use as carbs but you know being german i might or might not approve of that and there's your seafood obviously great protein right here then there is more beef we talked last time about like grass fed or not or whatever you know it really depends more on the leanness like the leaner cuts you're getting so this is 90 10 you know that would be an excellent value if you're trying to gain weight obviously you want to go a little bit on the fattier cuts 
uh, <coughs> such as center cut or so. But one thing I want to talk about is what people always freak out is about like steroids in the meat. So some people might say, ooh, sign me up. But steroids or chemicals or like drugs in general are very fragile, okay? So for you to get anything out of it, you would have to bite the animal while it's alive. So there wouldn't be a situation where like you could inject the animal, kill the animal, cut the animal, grill the animal, cook the animal, digest the animal, and still get anything out of it. So for some people, they might be relieved, some people might be disappointed, but there are no steroids anymore. Okay, so diet sodas. They don't cause cancer. They don't make your insides green and they don't make you gain weight, okay? So there is no magic ingredient that all of a sudden spikes your insulin in there or makes you crave some things. Like, yes, some people, they drink something sweet, then they want to eat something sweet, but then it was what they ate made them gain weight, okay? Diet sodas will not make you ill or gain weight or go crazy or vote Republican or Democrat, whatever it is that you don't believe in, okay? Come with the moderation, they're great, as if you're craving something sweet or like a treat, have them. Just, you know, don't overdo them. My God. So here's one thing that comes from the audience and that's a good question. It's like, is everything with chocolate and sugar bad? No, it's not. It's absolutely not. But the thing is, it's always portions, right? So, something like yours truly, who has a pretty high metabolism and works out a lot and what have you, I, you know, I need about 4,000 calories to stay even. So, so, but here's what happens. So you, you, say, you say to somebody, look, look, Jerry, um, dark chocolate is actually good for you. So then he finds this, right? Yeah. It's like dark chocolate. Sweet, right? Like, and then he's like, oh, 130 calories. Even better, right? So he eats the whole thing. Well, read the fine print. It's per two biscuits. Okay? So the whole thing probably has, uh, yeah, 12. So that's times six. So we're looking at like somewhere in the range of 900 calories for the whole box. Now you've created damage. So yes. Like dark chocolate has some antioxidant, it's not terrible for you and it won't kill you in moderation, but you just can't eat heaps of it. Sorry, that's how it is. So the U continues, you know, there's a chicken, more poultry, there's uh, pork, the other right, right meat. And now we're continuing. Heading straight into, uh, this is to be disregarded. Hey, nothing's perfect. And then we have dairy. I'm so sorry. Dairy, eggs, and then it basically obviously concludes over there with yogurts. So if you stay out of the middle aisles, you avoid most of the trash. You get your produce, you get your protein, you get your carbs over there, and you're off to the races. Just follow the big U, Mike out.